Johnny, we've won the last two matches against Milton Keynes on Sunday. We want to make that three in a row and get to the second round of the Emirates FA Cup. Yeah, of course we do. Of course we do. Um, whatever's gone on before the previous games doesn't, doesn't count a jot uh, in this one, though. So we have to take it as a standalone. It's not a league game, it's a cup game. It's, it's, a, it's a unique one. Um, but we're going there, obviously, to try and get into the next round of the cup, realising that it's a, a significant game because of the opponent, but the, um, the objective don't change. It's to go there, win a game of football uh, and get through. But we can't, you know, just because we've, we've won a couple, uh, the last couple, it doesn't mean anything going into this one. It's a completely new challenge and, uh, and we won't be sort of taking anything for granted, that's for sure. Almost everywhere you look around our stadium, there's special connections with the Emirates FA Cup and that's something that we want to continue with. Yeah, of course. It's, 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 it's a special competition, especially uh, for this football club, you know, having having won it before against all the odds, um, pulling that off in, in in that memorable game against Liverpool. And so are we going to go on and win it this time? It's, it'd be highly unlikely, but we want to have a really good run at it. We want to. Uh, we always want to give a good count ourselves uh, in the FA Cup, and we, you know, we've done that last season. We want to do that this season. So um, yeah, the first round draw has thrown up a you know a special tie, and uh, it's important that, that that we're aware of that when we go there. Two hurdles to overcome if we want to get to round three again. Is that the, the objective again, at least this season? It's to go as far as we can, Bob. You know, I feel like well, we've shown it. We beat we beat Premier League opposition in, in the League Cup, and uh, and then went and give given another top Premier League team a, a you know a really good game at their own place as well. So uh, we feel we can mix it up, mix it up with the best of them. Um, obviously, they came they come in in the third round. Those sorts of teams. So. We try to go as far as we can, but I think you always look at the third round as a marker that you definitely want to get to. But listen, <laughs> we've been we've been dealt a really tough tough fixture uh, in this first one, but we're all bang up for it, looking forward to it. Um, and it's, yes, yeah, it's, it's a challenge that that, that we're welcoming um, as we try and get into the third round for sure. Fans turned out in force, of course, up at Newcastle United. The last I heard, we got 1,700 going there on Sunday. That's going to give the boys such a lift. Yeah, yeah, it's great. It's great. Uh, you know, obviously, it's a, it's, a, it's a difficult situation. I get, understand and respect people that, that want to go, that don't want to go. You know, that's absolutely fine. But, you know, obviously 1,700 have chosen that they want to come. And uh, it'd be great to see our supporters there cheering us on. You know, it's, um, it's, it's definitely can, can, can make a big difference. I think you've seen that support that we've had throughout uh, the campaign so far and you know on, on our travels especially in you know in our cup games the amount that we took up to newcastle i think on about a week's notice wasn't it maybe not even that we ended up with, with so many up there so it's great obviously um to have that support um i'm sure the ones that aren't there are going to be watching supporting from the armchair from the pub whatever that looks like and uh, and we welcome that too we just want to put on a, a really good show for wimbledon and, and and go there and show them what we're all about Absolutely, and it looks like we're going to have James Furlong and Isaac Ogander in contention for it. Yeah, yeah, it looks that way. So Ogs is, you know, he don't look like Ogs this morning. He looks like another. I can see him yeah, over over your shoulder. Here he comes. He uh, he looks like a bit of a, a different character this morning. All right, Ogs. Yeah, good face. <laughs> and uh, but credit to the boy because that was a hell of a mm. whack that he took. He had a he had an almighty gash over his eye. Uh, I think he had about ten stitches in it. So for him to be back out here today. Uh, I think says a lot about his character. Uh, and Jimbo, I thought, you know, feared the worst as well when he went down holding his shoulder, thinking that that might have um, dislocated. But it looks like he just took a real nasty whack on that bit of sore after the game. But um, he's out here today and, uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully he gets through the session and comes into contention. Jake Reeves, of course, he'd know all about this sort of fixture, but um, not going to be in contention for Yeah, this. Skip, Skip's obviously still out. Um, Bit of a slow burner with him. We need yeah, we need him back as, as soon as possible. I keep saying he's getting closer, and he is. He is. I'm not just I'm not just saying that. Um, but we need him back out. He, he's been out a while now, so he needs to get some good training in as well before obviously we can we can um, consider him for selection. I think probably rushed it at Salford, but he'd only been out. He only missed a game at that stage. So I felt it was a, a risk worth taking. He's obviously missed, missed a, um, much more of a chunk now. So uh, it's important that when we get him back, we keep him back. Uh, that'll be my real focus when, when he does start coming back with a group. So yeah, unfortunately, you know, I'd love to have uh, been involved in this one, I'm sure, but he's obviously going to miss out. And you've got the likes, of course, Ryan McLean, Ethan Sutcliffe doing work out here, but everybody else in contention? 
Yeah, yeah, those boys are just stepping up their rehab, but everyone else is, is um, trained. Everyone wants to play. Um, I've got to pick an 11 that I think is going to go and get the job done. Nine subs in the cup, so we'll take a big squad there. We'll have, we'll have options, um, whatever 11 we choose. We would expect to go there and, uh, and put up an unbelievable account, and then the boys that have to come on and, and help us get the job done need to be ready. Um, and that's always the case. The boys have got to be ready to step up when, when called upon. I think Tuesday was a, was a missed opportunity for some. But that's the nature of football. You, know, you, uh, you have to take the, you have to take every every game is important. Every training session is important. Um, we can't afford to, to come off it in any capacity because we've got big ambitions this season. Um, one of them ambitions is to go and win the game Sunday and get through in the cup. So everyone's focused, fully focused on that. Uh, what I can see from training today is everyone wants to play in that. The boys are, the boys are, yeah, they're at it, they're at it. So um, yeah, we'll pick the bones of that. We'll watch, we'll watch the training back. We'll, uh, we'll pick a team that that we feel um, could go there, get a job done. Just finally, as well, also just out of shot over your shoulder there, the youth team did very well. Uh, progress in the in the youth cup must be very pleased with that. Delighted, delighted for Clarkie and the boys. Yeah, great showing uh, Wednesday night. Yeah, really pleased, and that's a tough place to go, as we know. Um, it's a local derby; they'd have been bang up for that. Uh, but I know, I know the, the young boys were, and uh, yeah, sort of touch base with Clarky this morning. He was, he was, he was well pleased with it. So, really pleased for them getting through in the second round. Not sure if we know who they got yet in the next one, but been looking forward to that. And uh, it's always nice to go and support them. Absolutely, you had young Harry, of course, around the squad this week. It's a big, big couple of days for him. It's been yeah, big week for him. Um, I'd have liked to have got him on the pitch, to be honest, Tuesday, but I don't think the, the way that the game went um, allowed for that. Plus, we had one we had one eye on Wednesday for him, um, keeping him fresh, which obviously it did because he went and got the uh, went and bagged the winner. So, um, yeah, well pleased for for young Harry and all the boys. Uh, yeah, you know, we we pride ourselves on uh, on on our youth system here and, and, and bringing players through, and, and hopefully that's the next crop. Brilliant. Best of luck, Johnny. All right, cheers, Rob.